Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another Oh wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. So today's challenge is to determine which eggs are raw and which eggs are hard well, to Well, that's hold. easy. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Determine which eggs are raw and which eggs are hard boiled without breaking open the eggs. Oh, now that's a little difficult. Well, actually, my grandma once told me that if you take a hard boiled egg and you spin it, it will spin very, very easily. But if you take a raw egg, it won't spin that well. So if I take this egg, for example, it spins easily, so it must be hard boiled. Let me try. This one doesn't spin well, so it should be raw. So this is our hard boiled egg pile, and that's our raw egg pile. Very good. Wait, how do we know if this trick actually worked? Okay, we can break open the eggs. We'll start with our alleged raw egg pile, which when we break it open is obviously a raw egg. And now from our hard boiled pile, we see that it is hard boiled. My grandmother's trick worked, but how does it work? Ah, well to understand that, we're gonna have to turn to one of the most brilliant minds in the history of physics. Sir Isaac Newton. Hello. Now Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia, states that objects at rest tend to stay at rest and objects in motion tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Now, you got to remember that motion tends to want to occur in a straight line. In other words, when you spin something, it's constantly moving away from a straight line, so its inertia is constantly changing. Now, let's apply that to our eggs. While on the outside the eggs appear the same, it's on the inside that matters. A hard boiled egg is solid throughout, which means it has a definite shape. So when you give it a spin, the whole thing spins no problem. The force applied to the shell of the egg is transferred throughout, more or less evenly, allowing it to easily overcome the constant changes to its inertia. But a raw egg on the inside is liquid. It has no definite shape. Even more, it has a separate liquid-filled sac, the yolk. So when you try to spin a raw egg, it doesn't spin that well. The key is the liquid interior. Liquids don't behave like solids. They tend to slosh around like the water inside this bottle. So the force that's applied to the outside of the egg is not evenly applied throughout the egg. So it doesn't spin that well. You know, this gives me an idea. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. You'll need three water bottles, one filled completely with water, one filled about halfway, and one empty. You'll be tossing and catching the bottles. Start with the full bottle. Hold it with the cap facing you, then throw and catch it so that the bottom is facing you. That's a half toss. Next, try a full toss. Start with the cap facing you, then toss and catch it so the cap is facing you again. And again with a double toss. Keep going. Can you do a triple or even quadruple toss? Now, repeat the tossing, first with the empty bottle, then the half-filled bottle. What differences do you notice? So unlike a raw egg, which has a yolk and some airspace inside of it, this full bottle of water is just pure water. So there isn't a significant amount of sloshing, making it behave much like a solid would, just like our hard-boiled eggs. So you should get some good spinning. As for the empty bottle, it has less mass than the water-filled one, since it only has air in it. That does make it harder to get some good spinning, but it also has no sloshing, so it should be better than the half-filled bottle and still act more or less like one of our hard-boiled eggs. So this one has plenty of room for the water to splash around, making it very hard for it to constantly change its inertia as it spins. The same is true for our raw egg. While you can get it to spin, it doesn't spin easily because it has a hard time constantly changing its inertia. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>